Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is a great God morning on this side of the earth. I'm helping you watching me wherever you are. This is a great day to have a great day. I am Pastor V and on behalf of Pastor Grimsley, we say welcome this morning. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on. I know you hear me because you got me on. Get on up. Roll up. Come on. Wash your face and tell somebody, hey, it's time for the word. It's time for the word. It's time to get up and hear what the Lord has to say, not just about everybody else, but just about me. Come on, he has a word just for you this morning. So you just got to get up. Come on, wash your face, and let's get into church. Hey, you ain't got to go nowhere. Just go to your living room, your couch, wherever you need to be. So I'm speaking to you from the north, the south, the east, and the west this morning. Come on and join us this morning. Hey, we are in-house. We are alive. So if you're in the neighborhood, you still got time to creep on in the door. Come on, we got somebody that will let you on in. The door is unlocked. Just come on in. So this morning, we want to thank you for joining us. We're continuing on, continuing on with our, 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 our lesson on living my expectations. I don't know about you, but I have some expectations. Amen. I got some expectations that I'm wanting God to do and fulfill. I'm already thanking him for what he's already done. But Amen. what? He's still got some stuff to do. Amen. Come on, we can't limit him because he's still got stuff that he wants to do. So we can't just limit God. We got to expect him to do exceedingly, abundantly, and above all that we ask for even think. Because I still have loved ones, I don't know about you, that need to be saved. Amen. So before we go any further, you know what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to stop. So you can, I'm going to stop so you can tag, share, like, and invite somebody to the church. Go ahead, run to the room, tell them, get up. So you got two seconds to invite somebody to the church. Let's go. <laughs> finish so I hope you're done too hope you're finished just that quick we're finished so we're gonna get up here go ahead and get ready to get started jump into service we get ready to worship and praise God and after I finish the next voice that you're gonna hear is our very own Pastor Grimsley but soon we're gonna be bringing another voice in between me and Pastor Grimsley so stay tuned stay tuned you don't want to miss it so hey wherever you are Go ahead and get yourself prepared. Get ready to get your worship area prepared. However you feel led to worship, however you feel led to get before God, that's what you do. Because your worship is personal. It's personal. So I can't tell you how to do it. I can just go ahead and instruct you or lead you into worship. But it's up to you to want to come in and join. Okay? Amen. So go ahead and prepare yourself. We get ready to start, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you glory in this day. We give you praise for what you're doing, for what you're about to do. We thank you, Lord, for your awesomeness, for your goodness, for your grace. And we thank you that you're going to meet us right here in this place. We thank you for your awesomeness. For God, you are good. And your mercies endure forever. So we surrender ourselves to you this morning and say, have your way. Have your way in this place. Have your way in my mind. Have your way in my heart. Have your way in my family. Have your way in my finances. Whatever you need to do this morning, God, we welcome you this morning. We welcome you in this place. We welcome you in this place. We ask you to have your way. Come sup with us this morning. Come sup with us this morning. Come on, meet us right where we are. Meet us right where we are. So, Father, we will be so careful to give your name the praise yes. because we know what you're about to do that no man can do. Yes. We know what you're about to do no man can do. So we surrender it unto you this morning. We surrender it unto you this morning. We surrender it unto you this morning. Come on and tell him, God, I surrender it unto you this morning. I surrender it unto you this morning. Come on, I surrender it unto you this morning to have your way. To have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Yes. Holy yes. Spirit comes up with us. Thank we thank you this morning. We thank you. Come on, we begin to give God glory 
this morning in your own way. Begin to thank him right where you are. Begin to thank him. Come on, lift it up to him this morning. Lift it up to him this morning. Lift it up to him this morning. For he is good and his mercies endureth forever. He is good and his mercies endureth forever. For he is good and his mercies endureth forever. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good and his mercies endureth forever. Come on, we thank God that his mercies endureth forever. We thank God that his mercies endureth forever. So, Father, we thank you that they're listening from the north, the south, the east, and the west this morning. They're listening this morning. And we ask you to have your way. Have your way. For you know what they stand in need of this morning. Have your way. Have your way. It is in Jesus' matchless name that we do pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, how do you know that nothing else would do? Nothing else would do. I don't know about you, but I tried a lot of things, and it just didn't work. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Have your way, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm caught up in your prayer. Nothing else will do. 
nothing else will do.
petition to you because he won't give up on you. Hold on to his unchanging hand. Give up on God because he won't give up on you. you to give up. It may seem tough right now and you may be just holding on by your fingertips mm -hmm. but just know that God heard your prayer. Mm -hmm. He says make your petition known unto him hey and he won't leave you nor forsake you. Come on because he knows just where you are and what you need. You may be in the valley of decision this morning but he says don't give up on me. Don't you give up on me. I will be a lamp unto your feet yeah. and a light unto your path. This path. Isn't that good news this morning? Amen. So don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Amen. Come on, you got to try it. You don't try everything else. Right. You got to know that nothing else will do but him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, we're going to take a few minutes. We're going to meet and greet, tell somebody just how good God is. Come on, and after the next voice you're going to hear is our very own Pastor Grimsley. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. on Facebook and YouTube. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We want to thank Pastor Vanessa. Amen. For the praise and the worship. Amen. 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 And I know that you bear the same spirit of God to be in this place at this time. Amen. Amen. Well, are y'all ready for the word? Amen. Amen. Well, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Amen. God already knew uh, before this time period who would be here, who would be able to hear the word of God. So everything, I believe, the word of God is always tailor-made. Amen. 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 Every word I've ever heard, no matter where I've been, it was always tailor-made for me. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Because the word of God must be received. Amen. Praise be to God. All right. Hey, let's bow your head. Let's pray. Amen. We'll do our declaration of faith after we pray, and we'll jump inside of the word of God. Come on, let's pray. Father, we thank you. I'm going to give you all the praise, all the glory and honor, Father God, for thy name. Now, God, we know this is the day you have made, yeah. and we shall rejoice and be glad Hallelujah. in it. Now, Father, you know every person, name by name, situation by situation, circumstance by circumstance. Mm -hmm. Now, look, I don't, I don't know what they're here for. I don't know what they need to hear, but thank God for the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He's like God, I teach you today. He's all-knowing, all-powerful. So I thank you today that the Word of God is tailor-made mm -hmm. for you today. Yes. And, Father God, I think that I believe it's falling on awesome ground, amazing ground, producing the desired have harvest that you sent it out to do. It shall produce the harvest. The word cannot return into your board. And Father God, we thank you right now. The word of God will have free course. And God, even while the word of God is going forth, people are being healed, set free, and delivered. Yes. And God, we thank you right now that lives have been transformed while the word of God is going forth. And we give you all the praise in this place and all the glory. In Jesus' name, let everybody shout, amen. amen. Well, let's do our decoration plate. Go ahead and lift your Bibles, iPhone, iPads, whatever you got. You feel me. Come on, shout. This is my Bible. This, this is, is my Bible. Bible. I am. I am. What it says, I am. What it, what it says, says, I am. I can do. I can do. What it says, I can do. What it says, I can do. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. And not a doubt. And not a doubt. I'm a doer. I'm a doer. And not just to hear. And not just to hear. And my life. And my life. Is the better. Is the better. After having heard. After having heard. The word of faith. The word of faith. Faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing. And hearing. And hearing by. And hearing by. The word of God. The word of God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Go ahead and smile at your neighbor. Amen. Show them your 32s, 15s, whatever you're working with. Amen. 
You can always show them what you got working with. Be proud of it because it's what you got left. Amen. 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 I'm trying to get me some new ones, y'all. They say they got to they they do some work to get me some new ones. <laughs> Praise be to God. Ain't that amazing? You can lose them, but you can get some new ones. <laughs> now, we don't want no one you got to take out for you to lay down. I ain't going to say nothing. They try to make me. I ain't going to say nothing. Yeah. Proverbs 23, verse number 18, amen. That's going to be our job scripture, amen. Uh, of course, amen, we're going to always do a short review. We're always flowing to new information, amen. So I believe why this word of God is going for is going to challenge you, amen, in your thinking. And that's the key, challenge you in your thinking. I always tell, tell, tell people that the biggest thing about the word of God, it, it's got to challenge you in, in, in your thinking and change your life. If the word's not going to change your life, there's no reason to know it. You can't, you can't get the word to stay the same. It just doesn't make any sense. The word of God produces change. Yes. Everybody say change. 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 And change is not change. It's the change that's come to pass. Amen. Praise Amen. be to God. So we're talking in this series about living in expectation. What I've learned that what God showed me over time and uh, every time he transformed into a new series, I'm beginning to look and it's like the believers and if you're not a believer, I want to help y'all. I want to make that one of my first appeal today. You begin as someone who's not accepting Jesus, Lord, in your life. I will give you that great opportunity to come inside of the kingdom of God. Amen. And so when you begin to look at expectations and living in an expectation, which really when we get down to it, it's going to be just the word. Amen. We'll break that down for you in our short review. And what I'm amazed at is that, that believers have been inside the word. And I always tell people, be quick to listen, so to speak. Quick to what? Listen. Yes. Slow to speak. Not for other folk, but for you. Amen. <laughs> the Bible said faith comes by hearing Hear. and hearing by the word, word of God. <laughs> so you, if you really want to know what you believe, if you have an expectation, listen to you. <laughs> folk won't listen to other folk, but listen to what comes out of your mouth. And so I always got to hear what's coming out of my mouth, because I'm going to find out, am I living in expectation? Am I, do I expect for things to work out just the way God said it would? Most believers do not believe the word of God works out just like God said it would do. Right. Because we live that way, we act like that way, we walk that way, we talk that way. Because we don't believe that the word is going, going, going to work. We have no expectation. Right. And that is the reason why faith, which is the greatest subject in the Bible, after getting saved. Notice, I did not say salvation does not need to be preached. It's got to be taught. But here's the key. After I, you've gotten saved, the greatest subject in the Bible is faith. Amen. Got it? Because I got to learn how to live and how everything functions and works. Yes. Remember, God is all is smarter than us. That means that my ways are not your right. ways. Right. All God is telling you, I'm smarter than you. Right. And if you just take a moment and think about it, he made you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Until you engineer make a whole world on your own a humanity then i'll listen to your argument i'll listen to, i'll listen to anybody's argument once you do that got it but in the meantime i'm going to have to go with the word of god amen so what we're about to see here in proverbs 23 verse number 18 god's going to set set the stage for your life as a believer because the devil oh my lord the bible says we have an adversary in first peter in chapter five he said your adversary the devil your adversary the devil. He takes an adjective to explain it. If you're confused, you have an adversary. Somebody who's against you. Right. It's not your daddy. Come on now. Come on. Not your mama, your sister, mm. not your brother, your grandparents, not your friend. They ain't against you. Yeah. It's the devil. Yeah. So I tell you, you got any complaint, you got, you got a problem with God. All right. <laughs> well, uh, uh, well, I want to live the way I want to live. So you got you got a problem with me, you got a problem with God. Because right. God puts something where so you can certain things you just cannot do. So you got problems. So God says that he said, the, your answer is the devil. Watch what he's trying to do. John 10 and 10 said he's going around. He said he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. In other words, he won't cut you off. That's it. His destiny has already been defined where he's headed. Hell, which then be thrown into the lake of fire. It's a done deal. His job is to take as many folk with him as he can. That's it. That, that's it. That's all, that's all that's at, at stake. You got it? And so what he wants, so what he's doing inside of your life, what he wants to do is kill your expectation. Right. Now watch this now. If the devil kills your expectation, you're going to cut God off. You believe right. that? All right. you're, you're not going to serve him. 
<laughs> you're not going to talk God. You're just not going to do it. You're not going to do anything. So that is his, his job is to get you mad at God, to get you angry with God. Because think about it. For you mad with angry, you ain't even talking to him. So right. you ain't got to go too far to figure that one out. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you, so we know you ain't talking, got no relationship with God, but watch this. Once you cut God off and you have no relationship with God, God cannot intervene in your life. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now you're on your own. Whatever skill can produce is what you can have. Right. Whatever you live by skill, you're going to get what skill can produce. Come on now. Just by line. That's just the way it works. Got it? Mm -hmm. And God is a supernatural God. He defines everything that we currently see. That's why he say you can't walk by what you see. Mm -hmm. Walk by faith, not by sight, which mm -hmm. sight is the only thing. Sight is sense, real evidence. evidence. Mm -hmm. Got it? Mm -hmm. You cannot walk this way because he said, even the air that you breathe, I gave it to you. Right, mm -hmm. right, right, right. Mm -hmm. You got it? Mm -hmm. And everybody must function in their in, in what we call a predestined environment. Mm -hmm. If you get out of your environment, you're going to fail. You have no expectation. Okay, take a fish out of water, put him on land, give him enough time, he's out of his environment, what's going to happen? Okay. Mm. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Bird is designed to fly. Mm -hmm. That's his destiny. Mm -hmm. When a bird can't fly, he's not living on his created destiny. Mm -hmm. Got it? Mm -hmm. Man was created for eating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is eating? Let's, let's break this down. Just simplistic for you. It's the presence of God. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. All, just forget it. God was telling man mm -hmm. the presence. Yes. It's where everything comes from yes. is in me. Yes. Yes. God broke that thing that shotgun style for humanity. Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. He said, now look, the garden of Eden was to spread out to the earth, but when man sinned, man went out in the earth, and they've always been trying to bring the earth back to Eden. It's never designed that way. It's mm -hmm. eating to go out. Mm -hmm. So inside of your life, in your life, in your life, you must, you must be in the presence of the Lord, and then you spread it out. Amen. Come on. Amen. It doesn't come in. The world can't bring anything. It's, no, 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 I got to spread it out. Yeah. And so the devil knows this. So if I keep you out of God's presence, yes. uh -huh. you have no expectation. I don't have to worry about you. Uh -huh. you. You're obsolete. I do not have to worry about you. You're not in his presence. Yeah. You're powerless. That's why you're speaking the stuff and nothing's happening, nothing's not moving because you have no power. Mm -hmm. What do you mean about you're not in the presence of God? Mm -hmm. You're fasting, but no power. Because mm -hmm. the, the, <laughs> the power that comes from the fasting, and the power that comes from the prayer, mm -hmm. but it comes from God. And God says, I'm the word. Oh, all right. Keep, gotta keep moving, y'all. Woo. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 23. Y'all there? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at it. Proverbs 23. What, what I told you? 18? Y'all gotta keep it straight now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You're good. It says, For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. What is God saying here? God is telling man, kindly is telling man, look, I'm going to tell you something. No matter what happens in life, and that's why you can't live your life or, you know, saying that that's why man is not in expectation because really man's expectation is really built on past. Mm -hmm. All the stuff you've been through sets your expectation. Mm -hmm. That's it. What God is telling you, he said, now look, my expectation would not be cut off. It can't be stopped. Mm -hmm. That's all he's saying. But the problem is, where are you setting your expectation in? That's the key. So go to Colossians 3 and 2. Because God gave us this amazing ability. Watch this now. Everybody say the word set. 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 Uh -huh. Some things are not that difficult. I mean, man makes it difficult. Or the devil won't seem like it's difficult. Got it? But it's not really difficult. God is telling man, look, your expectation, I'm not going to let it be cut off. All he's kind of tell you is his word, which is God in the word. If you go to John 1 and 1, in the beginning was, was God, and God was with the word, and God, and, and God was the word. So we understand God in the word is one of the two. So as a believer, a true believer, as a believer, your expectation is set by the word of God. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's set by the word of God. Got it? I was studying y'all, and I looked out there. Why do you, check this out. It's amazing how God does it. That's it. All these scripture God puts in there, everything works together, and he gives you more on your way than at your beginning. Remember, the Bible begins to talk to him. He said, now look, I'll give you the desires of your heart. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. God's going to give me some desires, or really expectations, what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. I'll give it to you. Mm -hmm. I'll give you all your expectations, all your, everything that you desire, expect, that's what I'm going to give you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's 
sound, uh, something, something, something's wrong. Uh, that's just, just too easy. There's something, something's just off. Remember, God can only work in, in the confound of his word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why you can't come over here pimping God, ask for things that's, that's not, that's what they call it, ungod. Um, there's some vision, some expectation God can help you with. Right. Amen. That's why I said it's set by the what? The word of God. Mm -hmm. You got it? You come over here expecting, you know, the only a, a pimp house. God can't help you with that vision. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. You want to have the biggest dope, dope house in America. He can't help you with that. Right. Right. I'm just saying, you know, something. It, 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 that's outside his parameter. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so some things God just can't just can't help you with. Mm -hmm. But here's why God said, "Give you give you your desires as a believer." You know what God says? When you're in His presence and you one with Me, and I birth inside of you certain things, I'm gonna birth desires inside of your heart. Mm -hmm. right. And it comes from God. Yeah. So God said, how am I going to change things in the earth? Mm -hmm. I'm going to speak to man and put expectations and desires yes. inside of their heart. Yes. Yes. They're coming from my heart, but I'm going to put it in your heart. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's God's intent for man Glory. that you prosper and do well. Because yes. he said, I need to get some stuff done. Ooh. So I'm going to speak to you. I'm going to drop some stuff in your spirit. You know how you go, Ooh, I, just got, I just need to. Lord, just want to yeah, that's God. God has dropped something to your spirit. Yes. Right. Now. It's incubated. Yes. But it's incubated by you. That means receive with yes. your heart. Right. Oh man, I got to do this thing. Right. And God always gives provision what He wants you to do. Yes. Yes. And so God says, "You look that now. You think it's your desire, but it actually is God. Yes. God is dropping yes. the spirit. Yes. 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 And God gets to change things on the inside of this world in their life. So in other words, you don't know anything about Lucinda and what she needs." But God has dropped something in your spirit and, and, and having you at, a, at, a, at the right place at the right time and to be able, you know what? I'm going to be a blessing to you. That's all God has done is work through you into the earth. Remember, in order for God to do anything in the earth, he's going to need a what? He's going to need a man. That's just it. And I always say, God, make me the man. Oh, you want to be the other man. Always remember. God needs people in the earth to, to work with. Yeah. God needs a part. Everybody shout part. part. God's not arbitrarily do anything he wants to do. When God wants to get things in the earth, he needs a partner. Everybody shout part. He has to have a partner to get things done you know, on the earth. If you don't partner with God, God can't get anything done on the earth. Amen. Just like the devil, if he want to get anything done on the earth, he must partner with your foolishness. Come on now. You ain't walking holy, sanctified, speaking in the Holy Ghost, tongue talking, everything baptized, and then the devil, oh yeah, y'all need you work for me. Don't make any sense. Right. But he needs an opening. Got it? So he's telling them, hey, listen, listen to me, Facebook. Listen to me, YouTube. Watch it. Your expectation, God says, right? your expectation shall not be short. Now, watch it. That will do something on the inside of you. So it doesn't matter about your background. God, I hear so many people talk, oh, my background, you know, you know, I've been through so much. Yeah. Well, let me see. You've been through so much. Let me see. You've been through so much. Well, who hasn't been through so much? Come on, teach us. Now, based off 1 Corinthians 10, 13, he said there's no temptation on the man mm -hmm. that God's not already made a way of escape and brought you out. Yeah, right, right. No temptation on the man means it's common to man. Yeah. So whatever you're going through, somebody else been through and solved the problem. Yes, yeah. yes. So why you magnify the problem over God's ability to solve the problem? Yes. Yeah. You never magnify the giant over God's ability to kill the giant. Oh, yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, because I'm going to go to a passage in just a few moments begin to talk about things on that other page there. Begin to talk about, you know, how, how you get, in other words, you know what God said, said to man? He said, now look, the devil is powerless. Mm -hmm. You must know that. But watch what he says. Don't be ignorant of his devices. Right, right, right. In order for the devil to defeat you, you must give, you must take your power and say, hey, you can have it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many people would just, uh, all you guys made out of you go give it away to somebody? Mm -hmm. Most of them do it. They hear God like that. <laughs> so why are you going to give away your power to the devil? Mm -hmm. He says the same thing. Why would you go give away your power to the devil? Mm -hmm. Why would you give your weakness to the devil? Jesus. What do you mean? With your mouth? Mm -hmm. You're just talking crazy. Mm -hmm. The devil just soaking it all up. Because remember, the Bible declares he doesn't know what you will fall to. Mm -hmm. Listen. He doesn't, devil never knows what you will fall to. So what he's doing is he's got a database building it up. Now he knows when you came out of the world, there's certain things that you like. That's why you got to get that stuff replaced. You got it? Mm -hmm. And so what he does, he throws things out there. I don't know if they'll fall to. Let me see if they bite this. They don't like that? Oh, they don't like worms. Ooh, man. Crickets. Yeah, ain't, ain't crickets biting today. Oh, over here. Yo, got some shrimp. They, what you going to bite? Uh -huh. 
Remember, the Bible says you're drawn away by your own lust. lust. So he has to keep casting things out and really you mean. Mm -hmm. That's Got good. it. That's good. And he keeps doing it. See, when you play with the devil, it's like it's like a big net being cast over your life. Mm -hmm. The fisherman goes out and throws a big net. Mm -hmm. Fish are still swimming. Don't even know they've been caught, but yeah, they've been swimming. Yeah. And that's what the devil does in your life. You swim for year after year after year after year after year after year after year. But the devil's been solely reeling you in. He's been reeling you. Really, really, really. And you don't even realize that your, your environment's getting smaller and smaller, but you keep on going and keep on going. Till one day, he's going to snatch you right on up. Next thing you know, you're the pit. Yeah. You call the pit of hell. Too late, been caught, but you've been living your life in a trap, amen? So you have to be careful and watch out. So he's telling us it would, never, uh, would not be called. So we found out that as a believer, my expectation is set by the word of God. Now watch that. That comes from Isaiah uh, 55 and 10. I'm doing short read by Shares Review. Review. I'm still in my review. <laughs> review to God, 11 and 12. So he began to tell you, my word is going out. Look, it's going to accomplish what I sent out to do. It cannot return into him what? Void. Void. Can't come back. So in other words, is God saying it? That's why... Your expectation can't be cut off. If God says, if your expectation comes from the word, is set by the word, it can't come back void. Because that, that means God's word didn't accomplish what it was sent out to do. Mm -hmm. So if God sent out healing to you, mm -hmm. you got to, it can't come back empty. Mm -hmm. Amen. It Amen. cannot, Amen. he said that <laughs> there's peace in your life. Mm -hmm. It cannot come back to God void. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What believers have got messed up with the peace factor is, is this. They think it's the absence of war. Mm -hmm. Like uh, like military war right. or in your life, all hell going loose. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I'm in peace even though I got all hell going around my house. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I get it. I get it. Peace is not predicated on stuff being going wrong or things that happen the way you want to. It got nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. The peace that God says he gives you is a subtle contentment. Mm -hmm. In other words, it doesn't matter. You know, Apostle Paul said, I know how to abound. I've had and I've had not. Mm -hmm. In all things, I know how to abound. I know how I know how to handle heaven. I know how to have, I know how to handle not heaven. I'm cool. Because right, yeah. right, right, right. what gives people, what gives you peace in the midst, and it doesn't matter about a certain situation, is God is still God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm teaching a lesson. Y'all coming yeah, about this, yeah. this series called the God Factor. You see what I'm talking about when you see the God Factor. In other words, it's the X Factor in your life that as long as I'm with God, the Bible says, uh, Mark 9 and 23, if thou canst believe, mm -hmm. if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. Yeah. The only time things become impossible to you is when God is not involved. Amen. Mm. And that's when you have to discount God. Amen. Amen. So my, my reality is set by the word of God. That's the key. Mm -hmm. My reality, what's possible is set by the word of God. My, all my expectations are set by the word of God. Amen. So, and it starts, and the devil starts working on you young. Because you can go right now and talk to young people coming up. Why do you have a love expectation? Mm -hmm. I didn't know why I used to uh, always say, man, when I get grown, I'm going to do this. When I get my high school, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. What? Those are expectations. Right. You ought to talk to your children's children and find out what are they expecting. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let the environment yeah. suffocate yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Don't let credible others suffocate you and, be and begin to tell you what to expect. Come on. From a child, all the way up, all to have a level of expectation. About yes, 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 this and that. Why? That's just, that's that's living in expectation yes. that the word is going to produce on the inside of my life. Amen. Amen. So in other words, don't develop your expectation based off of other people's opinion. You gotta be careful. Other people which can say things to you and, and it's fine. Say what you got, sir. Just because you say something doesn't mean I have to receive it. Amen. 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 You know that's right. Amen. Okay, I'm gonna give you an example. My wife will laugh at it, but I'll give you an example. Many years ago, shot long time ago. Long, long time ago. We was in this <laughs> was in this place. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I can't give too much of it, right? You gotta be careful. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. Prophet, prophet, I don't know what it was. But anyway, they were praying for everybody. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. They slang water on everybody. Mm -hmm. I had a problem. <laughs> People can say stuff to you. Mm -hmm. But what I'm always lining up mm -hmm. is that in the word of God. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if what they're saying in the word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because I'm understanding, I'm not going to let your opinion set mm -hmm. my expectations. Come on, That's right. Right. Come on. You can tell me, well, I, don't, I don't see all that, I don't believe that. That's you and your problem. I ain't got nothing with you. That's you and mm -hmm. your problem. Mm -hmm. But when I find a promise, a principle, a prophet. In this word, mm -hmm. I'm going to stand on that thing. That's what's possible to me, what's in the Bible, what's in the word. Right. Got it? Now, what you're saying, I understand it. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm 
understand ain't nobody starting a business like that. It's never worked. I get it. But God's anointing is on this thing. Yes. You got it. Now, of course, it does not. You have to do all your natural re, uh, 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 research. Yeah. You don't go start thinking. Because the Bible began to say no man begins to build a house does not go out and consider the cost. Considering right. the cost is not monetary, it's everything that's dealing with that business that you're trying to start. You're going out, talking to people in the world. Can I get a good understanding? You got it? On everything else. Yeah. But once I have that witness, I got the word of God. I'm checking that. Okay, good to go. I'm making my decision based off the word of God. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. So we don't, we, you cannot let other people's opinion, uh, you know, set your love expectation. And so you got to be careful with the group of the people you hang around in life if they're not lining up the word of God. That's the key. Amen. Now you got good folk. Praise be the Lord. Amen. Remember Psalms 101 talks about having good godly counsel. Yes. That's the key. Yes. Good godly counsel. If there was not bad counsel, why would God tell you go, go, do, go deal with somebody who, who's godly? Good so you just put that in. Just say go to counsel. Yeah. But he says, good, godly counsel. Yes. That's a difference. That's a difference. Yeah, that's a difference. That's it. That means somebody that's inside the word is going to give you the word, not their personal opinion. Mm -hmm. Got it? Mm -hmm. So here's the deal. He said, God doesn't want you to find your life by your present circumstances. Mm -hmm. And that's what people do. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're going through, that becomes the level of, of their expectation. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because that's what's possible. Because, right. you know, God showed me years ago, y'all, check this out. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, you know. You, you would think you got all these great expectations, something happened in my life, and everything goes haywire. It would seem like your love expectation would go haywire because the circumstances dictate that ain't gonna happen. Mm -hmm. that, ain't, that, ain't, that ain't gonna happen no more. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, what happens is you gotta realize you can't set your love expectation based on your bank account. Come on now. Mm -hmm. I know you're right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. It can be set by your bank account. Are the people that you know? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. You know you got look. You got you got hook up. Oh, I know John. You know he, he over there. You know he's the apostle of the third power. You know I'm gonna be able to move on up or whatever. You know whatever whatever it is. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying. I know the CEO of this place. You figure you got a little cop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. But what I found out is this. God taught me. Watch this. The favor of God will take you anywhere you want to go. Mm -hmm. The favor. If I shout favor. 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 Would take you anywhere God wants you to go. Amen. That's the key. Amen. In other words, God's going to raise up somebody somewhere to use the power, the ability, and the influence to help me prosper. Amen. <laughs> and don't folks say you got the like you don't even know you, but but cause God said. God said, I'm the one that put the song said, I'm the one to put, put them up and I put them down. So wherever I want you to go, you can go. After that, my expectation went to a whole another level. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'll, 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 wherever God wants to go, it's going to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody called you and said, look, I'm sending for you. Mm -hmm. I'm sending for you. I, 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 you're going to come here. Got it? Wherever God wants you to go. Amen. Amen. It's predicated based on his word. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Now, God's power is present to change your life right now. Whatever God wants you to get done, he'll change it. Look, go to, go to uh, First Chronicles. Uh, chapter 4, and we look at verse 10, I think 9 and 10, begin to look at the story of Jabez. Let me just show you something about, about love expectations, about circumstances of situations out of your life. Now look, you can go through a whole lot and uh, depending on everybody, I don't know your story, Facebook, I don't know your story. It doesn't matter about past, what you've been through, it's only set by the word of God. Here's Jabez, now listen, to, everybody knows the story. It, it's, it's bad. I mean, family, I mean, family called him crazy. Man. It's just bad. He said, now, there was a man named Jabez who was more honorable than any of his brothers. His mother named him Jabez, which means pain or uh, 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 burden and his sorrow, because his birth had been so painful. Got it? And that, that, that's bad. That's bad. You know, somebody named you based off what they went through? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you come to the earth, they, based off, you know, what you've been going through. Mm -hmm. I'm going to name, I'm going to name, name you Charlie Sue Johnson. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. You know? Hurt from the side. He was one who had prayed to God of Israel. Oh, that you would bless me and expand my territory. Please be with me in all that I do and keep me from all trouble and pain. And the Bible said, and God granted him his request. Mm -hmm. That's amazing to me. Mm -hmm. It's not the grant part that's got there. Mm -hmm. How does somebody who, who's in pain, mm -hmm. let me just put it, let, hold on, let's, let's go to our language, uh, ghetto, mm -hmm. project, mm -hmm. Bad past, mm -hmm. bad record. Mm -hmm. People been talking about and calling them names. They got no self-esteem. 
Uh, it's been bad. He ain't going nowhere. Don't see nothing good. Mm -hmm. How does he get this level of expectation to ask God to bless him? Mm -hmm. That don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. That don't, I'm serious. It doesn't make any sense. But watch it. The only thing that makes sense is this. Everybody shout the word. The, the word. word. The word is the thing that produces the expectation. Mm -hmm. Because it don't make sense for somebody in that situation to be asking God, Oh God, I still believe what you can do. That's a love expectation. Mm -hmm. And you have to ask, ask yourself right where you at. Do you have this level of expectation? Are you living in this love expectation no matter what happens inside of your life? That's the key. No matter what's happening in your life, you got to get past the car, the cash, the crib, and the clothes. You got to get past all that. Because mm -hmm. most folks define, define success and define expectation based off the car, the cash, the crib, and the clothes. That's, right. That's it. That's the definition. Because they are world. Directed. Now, as a believer, I'm not saying you can't have that, but remember Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness in all these things. Jeez. See, if God had a problem with things, he would have no reason to put that in the Bible. Right. God said, if you keep things in priority, you do things right, all that other stuff, check this out. I, I always tell, tell God, I'm slowing down. He said, they'll run you down. I said, I'm slowing down. Because right. I, I don't want nothing to go past me. Yeah. Right. So I slow down. But you know, that's just me anyway. <laughs> Praise be to God. He said it, it'll overtake you and run you down. You, can't, you cannot escape. It. But you can't make that your priority. Right, right. Just can't be. You can't do that. So I set my expectation based off the word of God. So when God says something, I'm like, oh my God. So circumstances, uh, situations, don't matter about your education level, your job title, no matter what, what your salary, don't matter what Bible college you went to, it doesn't matter. It's, that does not set my expectation. Right. My expectation is set by the word of God. And watch this. You got to live in it. Amen. So every day of your life, as you're moving, as you're going, do you really have an expectation? Mm -hmm. Think about it. You have, to, you have to get up in the morning and ask yourself, am I really living in expectation? Because most folks, what, what I said last week, listen, expect the worst, uh, prepare, prepare for the worst. Yeah. Uh, how, how do you go? How do y'all say it for me, somebody? Prepare for the worst. Hope for the best. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> Now I'm saying this just don't make no sense. Yeah. You're double talking about it. Says you know when you're double minded in James, I cannot listen to you. Come on, yeah. mm -hmm. that's what he said. I don't, I don't reward anything that's double minded. Because you, in other words, you got two minds. You got two minds. One man saying this, one man saying that. God, said, I don't know what you want, right. so I can't grant any request right. where you're double minded. Yeah. You got it? Because what happens is we will cancel our expectation with our mouth. You'll say one thing. I tell, I just tell them we was down in the of, of the city of the church down there. You know, I said people, you, you'll say one thing in church. But then you go outside the walls, you're saying something else. Right. You just cancel out whatever you said in church. Absolutely. Right. And God, could, God don't know what you want, so he ain't producing anything. All right. You know what I'm saying? There's no Justin and Johnson in, in, in the spiritual atmosphere. Once you let go words, God said every word is a spiritual entity. Mm -hmm. So once I release faith, when I release words, it goes out in the spiritual atmosphere. Because remember, the angels get their charge from the word of God. Yes. So you so you got to be careful. If, he, if they're waiting, you think God ain't waiting? Right. Wait, he's waiting. He listen to what you say. Right. And he knows right. whether we're in expectation or not. Mm -hmm. You got it? Hebrews 11, uh, 11 and 1. And uh, Hebrews 11 and 1, Romans 10 and 17. As you turn there, but listen to this if you already got it. Now watch this. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things what? Not seen. Romans 10 and 17 begins to say, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So we learn from the Bible that the, the, the word of God, God, the word of God and faith are synonymous. They're interchangeable. I can take them out because they one of the two. Mm -hmm. So I go back to Hebrews 11 and 1 says, instead of saying faith, watch this. The word of God is the substance mm -hmm. of things hoped for. My hope is my expectation. Mm -hmm. So the word of God is going to set my expectation. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. So you need to listen. So then, I'm like, God, if that's the case, I'm going back to Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. Chapter 28. Whoa. Mm -hmm. I'm the head and not, and not the tail. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. Mm -hmm. So that's, that, that's how I'm supposed to be living. Yeah, you should be walking around. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed when I go out and when I come in. Mm -hmm. right. oh, oh, oh. It's changing. Look, look, look what it does. It's changing because when I met God, my knees had knees. So the only thing that changed was, was the word. He's embedded in me all this stuff. Oh, whoa. I'm going to have bank accounts. Mm -hmm. I ain't got nothing now. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Bank account. Mm -hmm. And what God tells us, he says, now look, son, what you want is not predicated on your credit score. Now, wait a minute. Now, you don't have a good credit score, but God says, mm -hmm. if I only can work with a credit score, what type of God would it be? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not saying, I'm not telling folk not to have, pay your bill. Mm -hmm. I know, me ain't saying to tell you not to have.
Right. 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 Now, Pastor Griffin never said that. Right. You get as high as you can. All I'm saying is, I don't care how high it is, how low it is, watch this, God's going to work through every last one of them. Yes. I'm just going to tell you, he'll work through. God is not limited to your credit score. That's my point. Yeah. Because everybody ain't 800 like you. But let me just tell you something right now. He doesn't matter whatever level, whatever God wants you to have, or whatever you least your expectation for, God said, I'll meet you. I'll meet you at your level of your expectation. Amen. Now, he proves that time and time again. So God is saying, hey, look, I'm going to work through that because there's people in this world that had hiccups. They had hiccups. They got bad passes. They got stuff going on in their life. And yes, they have struggled in life. And they tell them, I got only got 10 minutes and I'm opening still in the name of Jesus. <laughs> but anyway, moving on. Are you with me? Yeah, got it? So you we have to be, we have to, <laughs> we have to be really careful because you gotta be like, wait a minute. But listen, you just need to read the word what God be saying. I'm his favorite child. Wait a minute. You're a blessed and highly favored. Now he tell now look. Now we get we steal this from Mary mm -hmm. in Luke 1 37. All right. What do you mean you steal it? No, no, watch this. He said Mary was blessed and highly favored. Now, yes, now, but you gotta remember, God's yes, not a respecter of persons. Mm -hmm. What he does for one in mm -hmm. principle, Amen. he must do for another. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Thank so you. if he did it for her, mm -hmm. he can't exempt me. I'm in right. faith too. Hallelujah. Got it? So he already told you, he said, you can be a partaker of another man's grace, Amen. the favor of their life. Right. You got it? So I'm, I'm going to partake of my pastor's grace. Amen. Yes, I am. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Based off, based off the scripture, you got to learn to work a principle. So my expectation, if I sown into my pastor's life, I've been a blessing in my pastor's life. Watch this. There's someone going to be a blessing in my life. Amen. 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 Shout, it's the principle. It's the principle. It's the principle. And you got to live in expectation. Right. I've been one with people. I said, why would you give, uh, whether it be tithes off or anything, with no expectation? Not making sense. So one of my things I do, uh, 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 I tell the people, I said, now look, it's tithes and offering on everybody, yeah, you know, all that great little stuff. I said, now look, now I want to be a blessing to your life. Mm -hmm. Got it? Now you can help out Faith Gift and Christian Center by just giving and everything and all that sort of thing. We really appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? But I prefer you get a return on your tithes and your offerings and the gifts of love. So I need for you to be in faith. Come on. Yeah. Bob said he loves a cheerful giver. Yeah. I'm, I'm never going to make you to give. Everything here is a at will only uh, given opportunity. Okay. You can choose to or not to give. But I'd rather be a blessing to you. Don't give because you're showing all uh, just because somebody else beside you and you're trying to give. No, that's not going to help your life. What that's going to do is have you not going to pay your bills. I'd rather you pay your bills if you're not going to be in faith. And if you're going to be in faith, then go ahead and do what you got to do. Amen. But the bottom line, it needs to be a blessing to your life. And then I get into why you should give. Amen. But at least I explained to them before they give because we're not giving it back. That was right. the I'm not giving it back. Because I explained everything to you with all clarity of speech. Okay. I'd rather you not give it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But don't give too much you're asking it back because we're not doing that. <laughs> I told you fine. Okay. But if it's not a blessing to your life, in other words, I'm kind of setting you an expectation that when you give, God said, give, and it should be what? Given unto you. Now look what he just said. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's some people get super spiritual. Well, I just want to give. I ain't worried about nothing coming back. Not you be. Come out of that. Come out of that love. They what the Bible said. Mm -hmm. That's inadequacy. That's not the word of God. Mm -hmm. God says you cannot do that. God always, you know, remember y'all, in expectation, God dangles the carrot. You can call it what you want to. It's just a carrot. Mm -hmm. You know, I just say, dangle the carrot. You just come on eat it. Okay. Isaiah 1 and 18. If you're willing and obedient. Mm -hmm. if, it's, if it's all about willing and obedient, leave out everything else. Mm -hmm. Why does God keep going? You shall eat the good of the land. What he's trying to do? He's trying to entice you mm -hmm. and make you have a love expectation. Ooh, Job 36 and 11 says, yeah. if you obey and serve him, yeah. you're going to spend your days in prosperity and your years in pleasure. Then I better be enjoying something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, see how that expectation? Right. You should be expecting, okay, the Bible says you ply in hope. Yeah. In other words, you know how it is in, in, in your lean days and when you're working in this thing? Now, God, I'm believing you. Yeah. You said don't don't forsake the symbol of the brother to God. I'm going to church. Mm -hmm. I'm getting involved. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'm expecting something on the back end because God says, hmm, do this. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it. So I got to let expectation based off the word of God. Hey, look, think about it. He says Romans 10 and 9. I mean, think about this. If you confess <laughs> the Lord Jesus with your mouth and believe in your heart, you're going to be what? Saved. saved. How can you do that and not expect to be saved? Mm -hmm. How can you do that and not expect the blood of Jesus to take care of all your pains? You know that. You know all the stuff you did before you got saved. Mm -hmm. You know everything you did before you got saved. Mm -hmm. 
You know. And you know that stuff is all up in your head, all in your car. You know what you did. You bad little rascal. Like all, all of us. You got it? So God says, I'm going to forgive y'all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So your expectation, if I did that, ain't nobody holding up on me now. I'm good. I'm straight. Now I'm clean, man. Hey, I'm good, boy. Hey, hey, man. Me, me, what you did, man. I don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing about that. That's in you and God. God already forgave me for that now. You can't hold that against me because he says no condemnation in him. Right. So now nobody can hold that against you because I've already confessed with my mouth. Mm -hmm. So your expectation is the blood of Jesus has covered all my past sins. Amen. You ever notice why God t t told you nothing? It's not like when you're saved and you commit a sin, 1 John 1 and 9 comes into play. He says he's faithful and just to forgive you your what? Sins. And cleanse you for all righteousness. Amen. When you get saved, he never asks you that. Come on. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Romans 10 and 9. If you confess the Lord Jesus Christ because mm -hmm. he knew one thing. Who remembers every sin you committed? Come on now. The blood just paid a price for it. Ooh, he never sit down because if you miss one, you can't be saved. So he said, don't worry about that. You do this, that takes care of everything that you, you don't remember. It takes care of it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Thank you. And nothing can follow you because he says, I'm going to replace your bad with goodness and mercy based on the Psalms 23 and 6. Hallelujah. He says, surely goodness and mercy should follow me all the days of my life Amen. and I should dwell in the house of the Lord. So even that, so nothing else can follow back side of me. I got goodness and mercy now. I replace my sin with goodness and, and mercy. mercy. Yeah. So my expectation, God, is before you meet me, you, my favorite shield already came in there. He said, favorite surrounds me as a shield. Oh, my God. So before you met me, you met my favorite. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's, just with it. That's my expectation. So I, don't, I tell people, I don't, meet, I don't run into mean people. Because mm -hmm. my favorite shield is already went before you. It's already broken down the barrier before we get there. You got to be kind to me. That's, at least that's what I expect. Mm -hmm. You got it? Mm -hmm. So you got to have that as your level of expectation. Oh, I got to get, oh, I got to long go. Praise be to God. Oh, my God. Oh, glory to God. Now, watch this. Woo, Lord. Living expectation is evident of our faith in God. That's the key. Amen. How much we trust his word, how much confidence we have in his promises. Mm -hmm. That's the key. In the Greek, uh, we'll break down a few of these. Uh, to have an ex expectation is to anticipate. You remember last week I began to say nobody gets pregnant and don't make provision before the child gets it. Mm -hmm. It's called dove. Mm -hmm. Male, female. Mm -hmm. Pregnant, daddy, mama, preparation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't get the child to get born. Ooh, ooh. Uh, you only can breastfeed so long now. You can't be breastfeeding the child at three years old. I'm going to tell you. I think that's illegal. <laughs> I just think that's illegal. Yeah. I don't know the laws on that thing. But I know some things are legal. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I got some kids out there with teeth, and I don't know how that's going to work out. I'm going to leave all that alone. Let the women figure that one out. But I'm just saying that you, you need to make some preparation. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, I was brought up in the old school day. Oh, Lord. And I still know how my mom and the Lord just let me pray for it right now in the name of Jesus. I don't know how they did it. Them cloth diapers, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Sunder. I don't know how. I do not. Woo, no. Real mothers, real mothers. Real mothers. I don't even think. Do y'all? Do, do, don't even think about. It. Don't, don't even think about that. That's for old schoolers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all new school. They got them die. I mean, what they call them? Pamper die. What they got? Mm. Roll them up, put them on, and pray for them. Mm. See that right there? You older? You older? You, woo. Young old little boy, y'all make a phone call. That I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, so Greek to anticipate, and it says usually with pleasure, anticipation of something's going to happen. In other words, when God gives his word, I'm anticipation. Yes. Now listen, I'm talking about the written word. God gave you 66 books. 39 in the Old Testament, 27 in the New Testament. How in the word as a believer, you are not expecting anything. Mm -hmm. I expect everything in this Bible. He said, forgive them who rightly defies you. He said, now look, he said, when a, oh, I love this, y'all. It was a Proverbs 67. When a man ways please God, mm -hmm. you better listen to this. He'll make your enemies at ease with you. Whoa, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. You mean the folks who don't like me? Yeah, they don't like you, Roscoe. They do not like you. But when your ways please God, they're going to be at ease with you. They're going to stop messing with you. What? Yes. What? So my expectation is, now you hate nobody. I don't even know, but I guess that's your problem. I don't hate you, though. But the expectation is, look, you may do that, but you ain't going to do no harm to me. All right. Whoa. That's game changing. That's a yes. game changing situation for your yes. life. Uh -huh. And you better tell me, God, I have power over the enemy and all authority over the enemy. Right. 
Listen, I got power. Yes, son. Yes, daughter, you got power. So wait a minute. Devil, break, 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 you know, his head come up in your life. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute. You said, speak to it. Mm -hmm. And it shall obey you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Devil, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. I command you to leave now in Jesus' name. Uh -huh. My expectation, he's gone. Yeah. Uh -huh. If he's not gone, then God lied. Because yeah. he said, expect that. Yeah. And he modeled the behavior with Jesus. Yeah. He said, now if I lay hand on the sick, yeah. mm. <laughs> you, I, when they come up, I tell you, you come on up. But see, now I, I go a little bit further. You believe? Yeah. Yeah. I got you to check that out. Because they'll, they'll have you think you're a fake preacher. Mm -hmm. oh, what you talking about? No, no, watch this. Watch this. I believe I lay hand on the sick, they're going to recover. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You heal in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. But if they don't believe, mm -hmm. they ain't get healed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So who's not, who, so you can leave the altar and say he ain't got no power. Mm -hmm. But your criteria for believing was, well, well, he paid for them, you know, I, I, I hope it works. And and, uh, and and after I get my surgery, you know, I, I'm going to be completely healed. We, we're not on one on the two. We're not one accord. You got additional criteria for you believing. Remember when Thomas and, and, and uh, John chapter 20, when Jesus came back? Mm -hmm. And he said, we see. Mm -hmm. He said, unless I put my finger in it, God, yeah. I trust that, and then I shall not believe. He had his own criteria for believing. Mm -hmm. And that's not, and that that was his level of faith. Right. And and when he was getting shot, but but he went and rebuked it. That's not mm -hmm. believing. All right, mm -hmm. all right. Biblical believing is something of fact, but any sense from evidence, right. son. Mm -hmm. If I said it, it's true, and I need no validation from anybody else. You can go to the doctor all you want to, and, and you should, and they can have their report. But in the name of Jesus, I'm healed in Jesus' name. Amen. You got it. Amen. So my expectation is for the word to work out just like God said. It would work mm -hmm. inside of life. Now listen, to it. the Bible says also in Psalms 105, 20 going all the way down. He said, look, he said that I would increase you more and more and more and more me and watch it. He says, and conjunction, my children. Come on. Mm -hmm. So I expect for my children to go first class. Amen. Yeah. Now, they can do some things not to go first class, but my expectation is set based off the word of God. Yeah. The same person that anointed rolled down to my life, and you know what I'm saying, rolls inside of their life. And if they do the same types of things for their relationship with God, they ought to do well because God, I got a promise from God right. that my children's children are going to be blessed. Amen. And they're going to increase more and more. Yeah. So I'm kind of challenge you in your love expectation. Don't let your circumstances, don't let your bank account talk to you. All don't right. allow those folks to tell you what's not possible. You can be, I, we were living in government project homes. Listen to me. Government project military homes. You got it? But my bills are paid in full. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we still tell you you can't pay none of them. We put them on the table and start speaking to them. Because we find a promise in the word of God. Amen. But my confession was not dependent on, on what I had in my bank account. Right. It was based off the word of God. I'm confessing God's word because my expectation, God, these bills are going to be paid. Amen. And guess what? They got paid. Amen. Now, it took time and years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't get in trouble overnight. All right. I got in trouble over time. Mm -hmm. Then we come to God, kind of pimp him, and want God to work overnight. <laughs> you ain't been in no faith for two days. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and you haven't sown anything into the ground. The Bible says, when you, if you don't sow into the ground, you have no just by right, just by right for harvest. How are you expecting a harvest? You ain't putting anything in there. See, expectation, when we just talked about that, if I plant something inside the kingdom of God, I'm expecting my harvest. Yeah. You see, you got it. And I got to cultivate that thing. Amen. How much time I got? How much time I got? Cool. Two. Oh, yeah, praise the Lord. I go over it good. Oh, yes, ma'am. I'm over it. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, watch this. Psalms 25. Psalms right, 25. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I can go over here. Let's see. Which one I want to do? She gave me two minutes. I got two minutes, people. Two minutes. So, you know, you got to be quick. Holy Ghost, you got a real range. So, let's do this. Yeah, we'll stay with Psalm 23. And Isaiah 40 and 30, 31. We'll close those two as time is ticking. Psalm 25, verse number 3, Isaiah 40 and 31. We're going to close with just those two. Hallelujah. Psalm 25 and 3. I think I'm reading it in the Amplified for time's sake. It's an indeed, none of those who expectantly wait for you will be ashamed. Mm -hmm. 
Those who turn away from what is right and deal treacherously with our cause would be ashamed, humiliated, and invaders. God once again telling us, those who wait expectantly for him, you're not going to be put to shame. Mm -hmm. I mean, the thing's going to come to pass. You have to learn to hang in there. Mm -hmm. That's why he teaches us we got to walk by faith. Yes. Mm -hmm. Keep doing what you know to do based off the word of God. Hallelujah. Jesus endured days of contradiction based off Hebrews chapter 12, verse number 1. The Bible says, not only does he often finish our faith, but he had to endure days of contradiction. Days of contradiction are these things. What you're saying, which is the word, is not lining up what other folks are seeing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other folks don't see it, but it don't mean that ain't true. Hallelujah. They looking at the facts and you looking at truth. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember, folks are look at facts around your life. Yeah. They're not looking at the truth. Truth is the word. The Bible says the word is truth. Right. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. But folks are look at everything else. So God's saying, uh-uh, it's going to come to pass. So he gets over to Isaiah 40 and 31. But those who wait for the law. Mm -hmm. All right. This wait Amen. is to look back up with expectation. Amen. You got it? Amen. You remember, oh, who was that? That was, that was Peter and, uh, what was it? They was going, this guy, he, the, the beggar, he laying by the wayside. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, you know, he, he, they come by and uh, and ask, and they said, he looked at him and said, you know, he, expecting to receive something. Mm -hmm. Expecting to re receive something. Mm -hmm. Expecting. Are we living in an expectation that we're going to receive something from the Lord? Yeah. That's the key. Mm -hmm. yep. You got it? And they fixed his eyes on him, they say. And he said, Sim and go. I do not have it. <laughs> but in the name of Jesus, yeah. hey, rise up, rise up and you walk. Hallelujah. Look, you don't walk unless you got a level of expectation. He tell the man with levels and you got a will of hand. He said, stretch forth thy hand. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. My hand's willed up. Stretch it forth. Mm -hmm. That's expected. You don't stress for something that's already willed away unless you, I just believe. Amen. I just believe. Amen. It's going to happen. Amen. You got it? But that's what God wants inside of our life, to have that level of expectation. Anything's possible because I'm dependent on God. Yes. I'm not dependent on myself. Yes. I'm not dependent on my resources. Mm -hmm. But I'm dependent on God. Yes. You got it? Amen. When I learned this, y'all, many years ago, that I'm dependent on God, relying on Him, it don't matter what. No matter what I got. Because I find that God will change your bank account. Yes, sir. He'll change the car you have. Mm -hmm. And every car's good. It's whatever you want, but he'll change whatever you want. You got it? Mm -hmm. He'll change the clothes you wear to whatever you want to wear. You got yeah. it? And he'll change your house, whatever you want to live. Yeah. God does that inside your life because, look, I'm walking in obedience. I have a love expectation, and my life is being transformed out of time. Give the Lord a hand for praise. Amen. 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 Come on, let's stand. We're going to pray, God, man. We're going to pray. And I'm telling y'all, I ain't going to be no, I'm still in my opening, but I'm going to get somewhere, God. I promise the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 We're going to get there. We're standing all over the building. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. be to God. Now, listen, heads about eyes are closed. Saints are praying all over the building. If you listen to me on Facebook and YouTube, what I want you to do, you know, hey, Go ahead and text us. Go ahead and give us a message. Inbox us. I want to be able to meet your spiritual need in this place today. Amen. Heads about eyes and clothes. Saints are praying uh, everywhere. In the name. Father, we thank you today. We thank you for this word of God. Living expectations going forth in the lives of your people. Yes. And Father, I thank you right now that it has fallen on amazing ground, producing an amazing harvest. Yes. Oh my God, in, the, in their life. Now God, I thank you that word has been incubated, cultivated yes. now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Now devil, we come against all satanic attacks because you're yes, coming Lord. immediately yes, to try Lord. to steal the word that was sown into the hearts of the people. Yes. So I, we rebuke you now, send you back to the pit of hell from which you come from. Yes. They should live and not die. Yes. And they are going to declare the works of the Lord yes, right now yes, in yes. the name of Jesus. Right where you're at. Yes. My heads are bowed, eyes are closed, saints are praying. Uh, right where you're at. I want to be able to make two simple appeals. Remember, at the beginning, I began to talk about somebody. My first appeal is dealing with somebody who has not received Jesus as Lord of your life. And I want to give you the opportunity today. You want to change your love expectation? You want to live expecting great things, what God will do for you? Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you today, if you confess the Lord Jesus Christ with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him on the dead, mm -hmm. I promise you, God will come into your life. Yes. Your spirit will come alive to God. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing else going to change, but my spirit will come alive to God. Yes. It's not by feeling, it's by faith. Yeah. That I believe and I know that God's in my heart. And once that happens, I'm telling you, the level of expectation when you get inside that word, listen, no matter about your past, God's going to eradicate it. He's going to take the blood of Jesus. Oh, my God. Yes, son. He's going to clean you. Mm -hmm. How does he do it? By faith, man, I'm telling you, it's the blood of Jesus that would cleanse you. 
and make you whole. You'll walk out of darkness into light. Hell will no longer be your home, but heaven will be your home. I just want to give you the opportunity to do that today. Heads about, eyes are closed. Second appeal, dealing with somebody that had a relationship with God, but somehow you got knocked off, you fell off. Maybe, maybe it was low expectation, maybe you got outside of the, the, the box. It really doesn't matter what it was. The good news is you, the devil's a trick that he plays. He's telling you, don't expect for God to forgive you. That's a lie. That's a lie. Expect for God, just first John 1 and 9, he's faithful and just. God said, look, I forgive you. You just confess that sin. All you have to do is do, do what we call a 180. I used to believe one way, I'm believing another way. I'm going to give you an opportunity in just a moment to get up. So, while heads about eyes are closed and right where you're at, your first appeal, and I said, say, hey, look, I want to set Jesus out of my life. And all you got to do is a simple press of follow. I pray today, I want you to come into my life. I believe that Jesus died for me. I confess in my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead. He rose with all power and authority. I confess it. I believe it in my heart. And because of that, young man, young son, I'm telling you, wherever you end, you're saved. Now, the devil's going to try to play tricks on you in the coming days, begin to tell you, yeah, you look the same, you feel the same. Ain't nothing yes. different about you yesterday. Oh, oh, oh. The Spirit of God yes. is coming alive, yes. coming alive in your life. Yes. Your expectation is, hey, look, God's going to do everything he promised you. Yes. Many things I've talked about. Look, get into a local church, local body, and I promise you, right where you're at, and you can follow us until you find one. Let me tell you something. I'll help you along your way, and God's going to put people inside of your life. I promise you to help you along your way. Yes. He'll never leave you. Nor to you. Yes. That second appeal, you say, Pastor, that's me. Uh, you know, I got off track, got sidetracked inside of my life, and things began to happen, and man, I just ain't had no love expectation, but you know, the Word of God today challenged me to, you know what, man, you know what, God, you, set, you, you set this thing for me. I'm not going to allow the people in my life from, from before to begin to try to change things for me and tell me, don't expect that, and that's how I got off track, but I want to help you get back on track, your Father. I ask for forgiveness. Yeah. Whatever that sin, would you tell God what it is? I don't even know if that's sin you and God. You let him know about, hey, what you got off on. And you let God know. God, I, I don't believe like that no more. Mm -hmm. Forgive me for my sin. Yes. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Yeah. And I promise you, my friend, if you pray that just that simple prayer, please forgive me. That's the key. And now you can get up and walk in a high level expectation of what God wants to do inside of your life. I'm here to tell you right now. And once again, if you're not a, a, a place where you have a local church, you can follow up. But hey, look, God's desire for you to be in a local body. That is the key. So you can be around like precious people with like precious faith that's going to help you along your way. So Father, I thank you today for the word of God that's going forth, Father God, into the lives of your people, Father God. And I believe that word is an amazing, life-changing word that God is going to use. This is going to spring up and it's going to grow because it's a seed. The word of God is always a seed that's been planted. And Father God, I thank you now for the desire of that's coming from that word of God. Yes. And Father God, I thank you for taking people's lives to a whole nother level. Oh my God, because they're living in you. They have this level expected. Yeah, God's going to show up. Just like you said in Jeremiah 32, call on me. And I shall answer. And guess what? God, you're my answer. You've answered for me. And I know you're an answer for others because that's who you are. So Father, we're thanking you today that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever in the name of Jesus. So Father, I speak wholeness over the lives of your people that listen to the sound of my voice and even ones that watch me live. I speak over your family. I pray right now, just like God ran out to the shooting back before me. He said, look, all is well, all is well in your life. Oh, my God. Whatever you believe in God for, I touch you with your faith. Oh, my God, that it's going to be done. Whatever next level, whatever you're doing, I pray now in the name of Jesus that the favor of God, that you God shines upon your life, that you, I'm telling you, are happy. You're doing amazing things inside of your life. Live it out your divine destiny, whatever God's called you to do. So, Father, we thank you for it right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, that your life is a blessing, God, and a blessing to others now in the name of Jesus. And, Father God, if they need help, you send it wherever they need it in the name of Let there be no lack in any area of their life. Oh, no, no. Uh, emotionally, financially, spiritually, socially, and physically, they're living a life of nothing missing, nothing lacking, and nothing broken on the inside of their life. Because it's a God kind of life now in the name of Jesus, Father God. And Father God, we thank you right now that for all that we do, you get the glory in everything that we do, Father God. Hey, not only, oh, no, 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 but it's you, God. When people look at us, 
we point to you. Yes. And God, we give you praise, we give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, Jesus. everybody shout amen. 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 What you think of the new pastor? The message coming back, amen. I'm going to say something real quick, amen. Uh, I think she may have it on. She got the thing to put up ties and off and gifts of love. You want to uh, do ties and off and gifts of love, amen. Yeah, she's got it up there, amen. There you go. You can go ahead and text us at, uh, to 54244. That's 542- 4-4 the FECC, amen. It will send you a link back that you have a great opportunity to share the tithes and often gifts of love. Amen. Remember, it leaves your hand, but never leaves your life. Because when I show it into good ground, I always have a just five or right. Watch this. Hey, that God's going to do something on the back end. Amen. So it's a part of my life. It never leaves. I can put a demand on my tithes and often into good and I gifts of love. Amen. Mm-hmm. So we want to thank God uh, for you, amen, and give you that opportunity. So thank God for you at this time. Pastor Vanessa is coming back. Amen. Can y'all give a hand praise? Amen. 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 Well, praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I don't know about you, but that message was on fire for me. Amen. Amen. I'm living in my expectation. Amen. And one of the notes, I hope you took notes. Amen. Because, hey, whatever you need is in God's presence. It's in his presence. You got to get in his presence. Get in his presence. Hey, so we're going to stay so long on this side. So we can take care in-house. So, hey, we want you to come back and join us on Wednesday. Wednesday at 630. And on Sundays at... Oh, I'm sorry. I keep saying 630, but it's on Wednesdays at 6. And on Sundays at 10. I want to encourage you to share. Tell somebody. If you're in the surrounding areas, come on in and sit with us. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for joining us this morning. We pray blessings over you and yours. Until next time, God bless you.